Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how to add user defined object in the hash table. To explain this, I have created this sample program. First, I will run this program, then I will explain. This is the output of uh, this sample program. Inside main method, I am creating hash table. And uh, in hash table, I am mentioning key should be integer and value should be employee object. Now we will see the employee class. The class employee has uh, three variables name, age, and salary. And uh, it has uh, one employee constructor which accepts uh, name, age, and salary. Using this constructor, we can create the employee object. And uh, it has uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these three variables. And I have overridden uh, two string method. This method will return employee information. Here I am creating uh, three employee objects, then adding this uh, three employee objects in hash table. Uh, key is employee ID and value is employee object. Uh, then I am displaying the hash table content. Here you can see the hash table output. And uh, key 10, value is uh, David employee object. For key 20, value is uh, John employee object. For key 40, value is uh, Peter employee object. Then I am calling uh, entry set method of hash table. This method will return set. And uh, this set will contain entry objects. Uh, here you can see the output. This is the first entry object. This is the second entry object. This is the third entry object. Then using for each loop, I am getting each entry object from the set. And once I get the entry object, I am calling uh, get key method and get value method to get the employee ID and employee object. And uh, then I am displaying the employee ID and uh, employee object uh, combination one by one. And uh, here you can see the output. Uh, for key 10, uh, employee object is David. For key 20, employee object is John. For key 40, employee object is Peter. And uh, this is about uh, uh, how to add user defined object in the hash table. And uh, thanks for watching.